Good morning, people watching. I'm at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture out of Joel 3.2. And it says, I will gather, I've given this verse before, uh, it's worth giving again. It says, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaph Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. The parting of Israel will happen because it says so. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved. Through his death, burial, and resurrection. It's his blood that has cleansed us. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you if you let him. So the IAF, and this just came out today on uh, Jerusalem Post, the IAF hit secret Iranian nuclear facility, research facility, during an October operation. Now, this is a report that's just coming out today. It says that the Israel Air Force allegedly struck one of Is Iran's secret nuclear facilities, research facilities, as part of an operation that took place at the end of October. According to a Friday Axios report that came out today that cited former and current U.S. and Israeli officials. So according to the report, the attack caused significant damage to the site in the Parchin military complex, about 20 kilometers southeast of Tehran, their capital. So the strike dealt a severe blow to Iran's nuclear development efforts, the officials cited in the report. The facility, which was also allegedly part of an Iranian Ahmed nuclear weapons program until 2003. It was used for testing explosive, explosives needed to set off a nuclear device. That's when I was looking at this back then. That's when my oldest son, Gody, was born set off a nuclear device to report at it, citing the Institute for Science and International Security. Okay? So, Iran's not talking. Go figure. Axios also noted that a former Israeli official briefed on the strikes that Israel destroyed sophisticated equipment that was required and necessary for the nuclear devices. Additionally, the report said that Iran has allegedly denied using nuclear weapons. It also mentioned that the Iranian mission to the United Nations declined to comment on the report that came out from Axios. Oh, really now? Yeah, this is huge. And the reason why is because Israel did some damage that's irreparable. And they're not coming out saying anything about it now. And it was also breaking. Now, this also came out today, this morning, actually. And it also talks about the targeted active nuclear weapons research facility in Iran. It's talking about the same thing. This is huge news because basically it's debilitated 
Iran to a point where they really can't do, but they can't do too much to Israel. This is why they're relying on help from Russia. So the Israeli strikes, and again, this is basically almost saying the same thing. According to the report, the strike significantly damaged Iran's effort to resume nuclear weapons research. So speaking to Axios on the condition of anonymity, a U.S. official says the Iranian government was using the facility for scientific activity that could lay the ground for the production of a nuclear weapon. Well, there's just so much they can do now because, like I said, Israel did a lot of damage to this thing. So it says the research was said to have been carried out in a way that would allow it to be passed off as research for civilian purposes. It says Iran has pledged to retaliate while Israel has threatened major consequences against Iran if it does. That's what's going on right now. Now, I don't know if, like I said, the only one that can help them, the only nation that can help them now, and I'm talking to Iran, is probably Russia. I don't know what they can do. I don't know what they're going to do. But if this is true, and it's funny that it's coming out now, that they did this kind of damage to their nuclear facility. So that's, that's not so much they can do. They can try. Now, this came out on Hateful Hal Turner this morning. Also, this is not good. This is talking about the Fed, okay? And this is pretty bad. This nation is going to crash financially. And this is setting up for that. It says setting up for a crash. Federal Reserve pulls more than half of credit available through bank term funding program, BTFP. The Federal Reserve pulled, quote unquote, about $30 billion of available credit from his bank term funding program. And many people are saying this lack of liquidity for banks is going to cause a major crash. They're right. This is not good. So then you got bricks to top it off. So financial gurus are sounding the alarm on social media. Now this was an X tweet that came out earlier. It says the Federal Reserve BTFP dropped by over $30 billion this week, which leaves only about $26 billion left. That's not a lot from those standards. Powell is pulling liquidity to trigger a crisis just like 2020. Also, coincidentally, the $36 trillion debt ceiling will hit Tomorrow. Now, this came out either yesterday or today. Folks, they're talking a 1929 like crash, financial crash. Um, in response to the 2023 United States banking crisis in March 2023, involving multiple failures of American banks. In 2023, the United States government took extraordinary measures to mitigate fallout across the banking sector. On March 12th, the Federal Reserve created the Bank Term Funding Program, the BTFP, an emergency lending program providing loans of up to one year in length to banks, savings associations, credit unions, and other eligible depository institutions that pledge U.S. Treasuries agency debt and mortgage-backed securities and other qualifying assets as collateral. As collateral. The bank term funding program was designed to provide liquidity to financial institutions following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and other bank failures. It was also created to reduce the risks associated 
with unrealized losses in the U.S. banking system, which totaled over $600 billion at the time of the program's launch. Funded through the Deposit Insurance Fund, the program offers loans of up to one year to eligible borrower, borrower, borrowers who pledge as collateral certain types of security, including U.S. Treasury, agency debt, and mortgage-backed securities. Some of the financial gurus pointing out this very strange timing of the Federal Reserve's moves. It says the day after the November election is almost as if they timed it to the T. So that if the wrong, listen, listen to this. They timed this so if the wrong candidate won the election, they would pull the rug out from the entire economy. This is, this is from one financial guy saying this. So other financial observers say that the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell handed uh, Trump a ticking time bomb. He might not have a job long anyway. So if the bank's money is tied up in treasury notes for a fixed term, and the Federal Reserve has now pulled credit from the bank term funding program. That's how, then how, and it's a, it's, a, it's a question, how will banks meet their cash needs if the Federal Reserve won't give them the credit to get the cash from them? There's one answer to this. They won't. The whole thing is coming down and it's coming down sooner than we think. This is another reason why I think the rapture is about to happen. The fall guy is in place setting up the scene. He is lining up the pansies and puffing up the patriot crowd. This is not good. Not good at all. So this is a clear picture of why the United States financial system is going to go down. And it's going to go down soon. Very soon. I'm going to link this in the description box because it's not behind a paywall or anything like that. So he's got it open. Yeah, I will link it in the description box. If anything else comes up, I have an appointment soon. So um, if anything else comes up, I'll be back on. Thank you.